from open house to acceptance, new student orientation, and picking the program that's just for you, it matters. From scholarships to meeting with advisors and making new friends, and all of the campus life and activities, it matters. With continued one-on-one -on -one support, student success planning, internship to graduation, and landing your dream job in your career field, it matters. Because at Delaware State University, it all matters. If you want to stay on campus, be safe over the holiday weekend. Practice safety while you're on your break. Practice safety while on your break. Delaware State University is celebrating their 130th anniversary. Since 1891, they've been persevering and impacting the world. Join us in this great opportunity to celebrate our past achievements, honor our current accomplishments, and look to a bright future. Visit desu.edu 130 for a list of special events and to grab some limited edition collectibles. That's desu.edu 130. The Delaware State Hornets always have a game plan for victory. And right now, the Hornets are helping to lead the way in the university's visionary game plan to keep the campus open, safe, and successful in the fight against COVID-19. The road to victory includes frequent testing, wearing a mask wherever you go on campus, and social distancing. The nation is quickly learning that Delaware State can do this because we're Hornets and it all matters. Welcome to Delaware State University, or otherwise known as Hornet Territory. Not only are we the only HBCU in the first state, we're also the most diverse and temporary HBCU in the country. My name is Kaylin Pride, a senior majoring in mass communications with a concentration in digital media. And I am Corbin Weatherspoon, a senior majoring in engineering physics with a minor in mathematics. We're here to give you a quick tour so that you know what's in store. DSU cares about its students and helping them achieve both their academic and professional goals. Whether it be engineering, mass communications, aviation, computer science, or business, but to be honest, there's too many to mention. All I can say is Delaware State is dedicated to your success. The university offers tons of opportunities such as career advisement, internships at Fortune 500 companies, study abroad with its international partners, academic support, and even direct access to groundbreaking research. Now let's take you to where it all began. Lockerman Hall. DSU got to start as a land-grant institution known as a state college for colored students. In 129 years, DSU has become the most diverse contemporary HBCU in the country offering 44 undergraduate majors, 18 graduate degrees, and five doctoral degrees through its four colleges. Now, let's check out a few of the things that make each college unique. 
In the College of Business, students can receive hands-on trading room experience with real-time financial data while studying management or working toward an MBA degree. DSU's aviation program takes flight through our own fleet of over 15 aircraft and experienced and dedicated instructor staff and a state-of-the-art flight simulator. DSU is simply the best flight education opportunity on the East Coast of the United States. Or maybe you have dreams of becoming the next big recording artist, commentator, or host like my co-host. The College of Humanities, Education, and Social Sciences offers a state-of-the-art music technology lab and recording studio to help you get started. We also have an incredible television broadcasting studio for students to find their place either in front or behind the camera. Also, our amazing applied research, neuroscience, physics, and so much more. And if that's not enough, we also love to brag on our top-notch honors program that empowers exceptional students. DSU offers what you need to be successful with incredible colleges programs such as the College of Agriculture, Science, and Technology, the College of Humanities, Education, and Social Sciences, the College of Business, and the College of Health and Behavioral Sciences. And when you're not in a the classroom, there are plenty of places on campus to experience college life. You can catch up with your study group in the William C. Jason Library, or just get fit in our Wellness and Recreation Center. The Wellness Center is 54,000 square feet of pure awesome. It has two full-size basketball courts, an indoor track, two large weight room areas, and a swimming pool. And just across from the Wellness Center is the center of student life here on campus the Martin Luther King Jr. Student Center, or as we students like to call it, the MLK. It is a great place to socialize with your friends, hang out in a games and activities room, and even some snacks and DSU gear from the campus bookstore. It's also the number one spot to participate in a number of student organizations and activities. When it comes to the DSU culture, one of the first things that comes to mind is homecoming. During homecoming, the campus is not only flooded with students, but also alums too. The week is jam packed with so many events and activities. From step show competitions, tailgating parties held by Greek organizations, to even the annual homecoming concert featuring the hottest artists. This week is truly the celebration of the year. Here at DSU, we believe in tradition and good vibes. Our swarm of more than 300 student athletes passionately compete in 18 NCAA Division I sports and have proudly earned MEAC championship titles, regional and national titles, and all academic honors. Which we love to display. Visit us online at www.desu.edu slash admissions and schedule your personal tour at desu.edu slash tour. We, we hope, hope you will join, join our DSU, DSU family. family. Delaware State University is celebrating their 130th anniversary. Since 1891, they've been persevering and impacting the world. 
Join us in this great opportunity to celebrate our past achievements, honor our current accomplishments, and look to a bright future. Visit desu.edu 130 for a list of special events and to grab some limited edition collectibles. That's desu.edu 130. From open house to acceptance, new student orientation, and picking the program that's just for you, it matters. From scholarships to meeting with advisors and making new friends, and all of the campus life and activities, it matters. With continued one-on-one -on -one support, student success planning, internships to graduation, and landing your dream job in your career field, it matters. Because at Delaware State University, it all matters. What's your favorite HBCU? My favorite. We Come on over, everybody. We're about to start. DJ Nick's in the mix. Play some flashlight. That'll help, that'll help you get over.
at the 130th anniversary of the Delaware State University. I want you all to have a good, good time today. We have a lot of surprises for you, a lot of special memories, but most importantly, we want to celebrate this wonderful institution of ours. So we're going to start with Dr. Marcia Taylor, Director of Alumni Relations. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Dr. Allen. Um, right now, you can probably hear the flyover from one of our DSU planes. Um, he's supposed to circle back by. Um, and we just welcome everyone. We're so glad to see all of your faces, to see our school colors, and those of you that have traveled from near and far, New York, Virginia, Philadelphia is here, New Jersey, D.C., um, we just welcome you. So congratulations, Delaware State University. We've reached 130 years. And this is a time to honor our great history. The MCs for the 130th anniversary celebration connect DSU history and its future. Dr. Wilma Mishu is a current member of the Board of Trustees and served as the 11th president of Delaware State University. She's also President Emerita. She is the daughter of the seventh president of Delaware State College, Dr. Luna I. Mishu. <clears throat> Dr. Wilma Mishu grew up living on this very campus with her family. Next, we have Mr. Jonte Simmons, he is the current Student, Gover Student Government Association treasurer and served as Mr. Sophomore last school year. Jonte came to Delaware State University from Laurel Dell, PA. Jonte Simmons. And finally, we have Mr. Jordan Spencer, who is the current Student Government Association corresponding secretary. He also served as the past a sophomore class vice president, and he hails from Harrisburg, PA. I present to you today's MCs, Dr. Wilma Mishu, Jonte Simmons, and Jordan Spencer. Well, good morning. Anytime I hear that plane, I have to fix my eyes on that plane. You know how I am with that aviation program. Welcome, everyone, and thank you so much for being here on this very, very special occasion. How about my two co-MCs? Don't they look marvelous? You know, I wouldn't be here this morning if they hadn't told me that students were going to be here MCing with me, as soon as they said students, I said, yes, I'll do it. All right, Jonte and Dante, it's, it's great for you to be here, Jordan. Um, we're going to open our program by asking um, Mr. John Ridgway if he would come and just share a little bit about the occasion and the purpose and how we got here today. John Ridgway is one of you know, our vice chair of the Board of Trustees. John, would you come at this time, please? Okay, we're good. Good morning. It's great to be here, and it's great to see so many of our friends, our alumnus. We have everyone attending, our elected officials. You've already met our president. You know, I've worked on something I was going to say about our president, but he came up today, and you can see he has multiple talents. If you need him to MC, he can MC. Huh? Can he? If you need him to go on legislative hall, he can go down legislative hall. If you need him to write a speech, he can write a speech. He's a man of multiple talents, a hornet for life. I also like to welcome, and I will we'll welcome a little bit more later, but our chairwoman of the board, Dr. Devonna Williams. Now, it's a little something about Devonna that you guys don't know, but you didn't see when she was coming down the aisle and the music came on and she stopped and did a little dip. 
and she spun around a little bit. She clapped the little hands. I'm glad she's not up here with the mic because she might have dropped a couple notes on us. So, you know, why are we here? We're here to honor the 130th anniversary of Delaware State University. And our president, Dr. Allen, has already recognized some of our, our, our horned heroes, as I was calling them, and the things that they have done. And we'll do a little bit more of that today. But this will set the path going forward to celebrate the 130th throughout this whole year. And today, what you're going to get is a small taste of what you're going to experience when we're back to a full campus. You saw the airplane. You met some of the alumnus. And I know we're having fun because it took us so long to sit down. Everybody was out there greeting each other, giving everybody high fives, so you know what's going to happen in the fall. Let me share a little bit with you about my own Hornet experience. It started in 1975 when my mother and my sister dropped me off at De then Delaware State College. It didn't take long for me to become homesick, and I wanted to go home. My first semester was difficult, and I almost didn't make it. For me, the classroom work was never hard. It was more of my mental, my maturity and lack of focus. A turning point came to me, for me, is when Dean Hicks, and for those of you who were back there and knew our resident dean, how many of you remember Dean Hicks? He pulled me aside one day and he said, Ridgeway, you know what, you're lukewarm. And he challenged me to live up to my potential. If it wasn't for my Hornet family, I would not have made it. I was taught by some of the best professors in the country. We had legends like Mr. Talbert, Mr. Price, Dr. Tisdale, Dr. Hamilton. And one of my favorite of all time was Dr. Scott King. You know, I wouldn't be here today for them. If you think back to Dr. Granville, he used to say, if it is to be, it's to be me. And Deanie used to say, sell the sizzle and sell the steak. And using some of the words that they say, I'll use my creative imagination. And I always think about this, and I think about myself, and I would say, something beautiful, something good. All my confusion, Delaware State understood. My professors took all my shortcomings and strife and made something beautiful out of my life. Now, 46, later, 46 years later, I'm the vice chairman of the board and the chairman of the 130th anniversary celebrating this historic event, where over 25,000 students have graduated. Let me repeat that in case you didn't hear me. Over 25,000 students have graduated. I could not be successful without the support of my fellow Board of Trustees. And they're, they're all in. They're in this wing to wing, if I use Hornet speak. They're with us from the beginning to the end. The support of the 130th has been extraordinary. So I'm going to ask our Board of Trustees, we just want to do a special thanks. I'm going to ask them to come up front and we can just all give them a round of applause, starting so I, I know she's not going to dance coming up here, but we're going to get Dr. Devonna Williams. We also have Lois Hobbs. Lois will give us a two-step. I see Harold Stafford. What you going to do when Harold dances with you? <laughs> We have Dr. Wilmer Mishu. I know some other um, trustees registered. Have I missed any? Okay. Let's all give them a round of applause. We can do better than that. Let's give them a pause that the Hornets, that they feel the buzz of the Hornets. I want to personally thank, nope, don't go anywhere, don't go, don't go anywhere, we got something for you. But I want to personally thank each and every one of you for your support in the 130th. You supported us with your time, your talent, and your treasures. And on behalf of the 130th committee, 
It is greatly appreciated. We have a special little gift for you. And I tell you, um, uh, if, if Dr. Allen, if he comes up and he sings, because he's done everything else, he's danced. Now, if he's, we're going to get him to autograph this, right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. As we move forward with today's celebration, I ask that you join me on this journey by supporting DSU with your time, your talent, and your treasure. I truly hope you enjoyed today's program. Enjoy it. Now at this time, I would like to introduce Miss DSU, Jewel Phillips, and Mr. DSU, Christopher Price. Are they here? They're not here. OK. So they're not here. So I'll turn the program back over to our MC, Dr. Michoud. Thank you so much, John. So before we go any further and have begin the actual formal part of our program, um, I would really love to call Pastor Powell to come and give us a prayer of thanks. Um, Reverend Powell is the pastor, the lead pastor of that of Mount Joy United Methodist Church in Wilmington. Is Pastor Powell here? There he is. I can see you under the mask. Pastor Powell, please bless us. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord, somebody. Come on, put your hands together and praise God. This is the day that the Lord has made. He told us to rejoice and to be glad in it. Are you grateful for this beautiful day? Did God bless us with a beautiful day? Amen. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for this invitation on this auspicious occasion. I do bring greetings from the Mountain of Joy uh, in the community of Southbridge in Wilmington as I have the privilege of leading such a wonderful faith community. I am a 1978 graduate of Delaware State College, formerly the Delaware College for Colored People, and now Delaware State University. In my devotions this morning, if you would, I was directed to Proverbs, the 22nd uh, verse of the 13th chapter, and it says that a good man or a good woman leaves an inheritance for his children's children. And I was thinking about the inheritance that the six trustees back in 1891 left us for her children's children. And as we are reaping the benefit and the wealth of that inheritance, I think the challenge as we listen to Dr. Tony Allen's uh, casting the vision for the future is what inheritance are we gonna leave for the unborn hornets that are yet to come? Let us pray. Stony the road we trod Bitter the chastening rod, felt in the days when hope unborn had died, but yet would a steady beat, have not our weary feet, we have come to this place for which our fathers had sighed. We have come over the ways and the tears that has been watered. We have come treading the path through the blood of the slaughter and out of our gloomy past till now we stand at last where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. God of our weary years and you are the God of our silent tears. You have brought us thus far along the way. Now by thy might lead us into the light Keep us forever in the path, we pray. Gracious and eternal Father, we are so grateful for this day. Before we ask you for anything, we want to thank you for everything. We want to thank you, God, for health and strength. And we want to thank you for this day that you've made. And all you told us to do was to rejoice and to be glad in it. 
Thank you that we have the dexterity of our hands and the articulation of our speech. And we've got a mind uh, this day, and that mind is stayed on you. And for that, we say thank you. We're grateful, God, for your blessing that you have bestowed on this historically a black college and university for 130 years. God, we give you praise. We thank you for those who have uh, planned this auspicious occasion. And we pray, God, that you would exceed the wildest expectation on this day. Thank you for this institution, God. And we invite your presence here to tabernacle with us, oh God. And even the days to come. We thank you for this opportunity to reconnect with family and friends and fellow generations of hornets. We thank you for a new sense of inspiration and hope and aspirations as we continue this struggle for social justice, righteousness, and equality for all people. We thank you. Now we pray a blessing, O oh God, on this historically black college and university, formerly known as Delaware State College, formerly known as Delaware College for the College for Black and Colored Students. We pray for the vision of Dr. Allen. And we pray for the administration and the faithful commitment for this entire faculty and great staff of this great institution. We pray, O oh God, to you for the Board of Trustees for their bold and broad and compassionate leadership. Oh God, we pray and we thank you for the faithful alumni, hallelujah, that are here today and even the existing student body. We pray, oh God, for your blessings on the academia and the accreditation and the socialization that only comes on a HBCU campus. God, we pray for your blessings for the athletics and the exhibiting fair play and furious competition as they benefit from the scholarships that are raised here from the dollars today. We pray for the faithful commitment, oh God, of our children's children, the ones who are even yet to be born. In all this, God, we come to give you glory. God, we come to give you praise. And God, we pray that you be glorified in all that we do today. Shadow beneath thy hand, may we forever stand true to our God and true to our native land. And let the people of God say amen. 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 And give God some praise as we continue in our experience. We just want to thank Reverend Powell for that powerful, powerful prayer of thanksgiving. Um, and let me, I'm going to turn this program over to my co-host in just a minute, but let me just take this time to say welcome home. Welcome home to all of those alums. And I, I was doing a little bit of math with, as I was preparing to come this morning, and I said, you know, this has been my home and my sister, Reverend Rita Page's home, for at least half of those 130 years. And so um, I know we have others in the audience. It's been your home even longer than that. It feels good to be home. There is no place like home. So now Pastor has already said, we, the university, has endured tremendous, tremendous challenges in those 130 years. And I don't think this past year has been <laughs> succumbed by any of those other challenges. Our students, our faculty, staff, and administration have done, and our Board of Trustees Absolutely. have done a phenomenal job in overcoming the most recent, the pandemic of our challenges. For that, I really just want to say thank you to all of our students, Jante, Jordan, you all are great. Right. And I'm going to turn the program over to them at this time for us to proceed with what's already been planned. Thank you so much. Have at it. I got it. Thank you, Dr. Mashu. We, uh, first off, we're, you know, glad to be here. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Good? All right. First off, thank you, Dr. Mashu. Uh, we're glad to be here. Again, Reverend Powell, thank you for your prayer of thanks. Um, so we're going to transition. We're going to move into remarks from the Board of Trustees. First, we're going to have Dr. Devonna Williams, followed by uh, Ms. Lois Hobbs. And after them, we're going to have remarks from our SGA president, Samaj Hazard. Yes, 
I'm excited. I'm excited. It's 130 years. Uh, come on, let's give it up for 130 years. Woo! Come on. On your feet, 130 years. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? You know, thank you, thank you so much, all of you, for being here and welcome. And we did have a little church with uh, Reverend Powell, and I'm just going to say, praise God, thank God that we are here is by his mercy that we are all here, that we made it through that last year. And I tell you, it's a phenomenal year. Despite all of the hardships, it's been a phenomenal year. I just want to take a moment to say how much it is my great honor and privilege to be the chairwoman of this board of trustees and also to serve with this great, the greatest president in Delaware State University and the other greatest president in Delaware State University. You know, I've had the pleasure, the great pleasure to serve with the leadership of Dr. Harry Williams, Dr. Wilsh Wilma Mishu, and Dr. Tony Allen. Phenomenal, phenomenal. I just want to take a moment, too, to publicly recognize our board of trustees. And I'll start with our vice chair, John Ridgeway. We call Ridgeway. Now, you know, there is the Ridge Way. <laughs> and he does it, the Ridge Way. And I also want to recognize that he is also the chair of our operations committee, and he does a fabulous job with all that work. There's a lot of work that goes into these facilities and all that we have to do with finance and so on. And I want to recognize Trustee Lois Hobbs. You know, she's a retired superintendent of the Indian River School District, and she brings her expertise to the Board of Trustees. She's chairing our Student Affairs Committee, and she's also, she'll, you'll hear from her later, she's one of the founding members and board members of the Early College High School we're so proud of. Let's give Lois a hand. And then we have Trustee Harold Stafford, who is the honorable... Trustee Harold Stafford, the former cabinet secretary for the Department of Labor, and he also chairs our Innovation and Sustainability Committee, and as well as running his day, day work as an executive director of a, a nonprofit that's all about careers, development pathways, and so on. So we'd like to recognize him. And I, I just say that with, when it comes to our trustees, we have the best trustees, don't we? And, and Dr. Wilma Mishu, of course, she's our president emerita, but she's also the vice chair of our athletics committee. So we have, I want you all to know, a dedicated board of trustees who are active, they're engaged. Um, John is chair, chairs this 130th anniversary celebration, but active and engaged. And we care about, we are here to serve the great Delaware State University. And we're just so proud and privileged to be able to do that. Um, I just want to say, as I reflect on where we are today, and I remember when we celebrated the 125th, I thought that was a big milestone. And I think about the 28 students who started, founded this university, and that has grown and blossomed to now over 28,000. I think it's 28,000. I may be wrong, 25,000 or more, 25,000 hornets worldwide not just in Delaware, we're worldwide. And uh, we stand on the shoulders of greatness. We look forward to another 130 years, right? We can do it. Just imagine, imagine what our ancestors will be like in another 130 years with what we've been able to do, with what we were given. So I'm so proud, so honored, and you all enjoy your day and welcome all of our alumni who are seated today. And I just, I just see our, our Stephanie, representative, the Honorable Stephanie Bolden, who's here. I, you know, I have to recognize everybody by the eyes now, but she is our wonderful alumni and, and a very deep supporter of the Delaware State University. And thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Good morning and congratulations, Delaware State University. This university has met many challenges in its 130 years. I 
from 1891 until today, presidents and board of trustees made many important decisions and enabled our university to grow, and it continues to grow today. One of the best, I think, the best decisions was made around 2013 when they decided to create a high school on campus. <laughs> Amazing, the first in Delaware. Early College High School was founded for the purpose of giving first generation college students a chance to earn credits on the college campus. These college credits could be transferred to any college that they apply to. 60% of the early college high school go on to Dell State University. I think that's a great number. Destiny King is an alumnus of the early college high school. Because, because she couldn't be here today, I asked her to write me a letter so that I could read it to you about her experience in high school. I'm not, going to, I'm not reading the entire letter or we might be here for a long time. I am just going to read parts of Destiny's letter. Dear DSU community, I was a part of early college high school class of 2018, the first graduation class of the school. In my first semester in high school, I was both nervous and excited. I took four college classes along with my high school classes. It was pretty intensive, but we, were we had an amazing support system. Mrs. Duraka in the engineering department of Dell, Dell State University was my first college algebra teacher and she left a lasting impression on me. She gave us advice on what classes would be like when we were on campus. The staff at Early College High School really went out of their way to do anything they could to make us college ready. During my second semester, I was going to be on campus for the first time. It was intimidating to say the least. My friend in the same class says, look, if anybody asks us, we're 18. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Everybody knew we were young. We were just 15 with our first college classes. So I, uh, first day of our classes, before we even got the class, they asked us, are you lost? <laughs> And of course we were. Our teacher, Dr. Sanchez, was very supportive. She would tutor us one-on-one -on -one whenever we needed help. In time, we saw that taking college classes opened doors. Dr. Tim Burney, who is a neuroscientist in the biology department, offered us a paid internship in his neuroscience lab. The things that I learned in his lab helped me through all the college classes. By the time I graduated from early college high school in 2018, I had 67 college credits to start my junior year. I decided to finish my degree at DSU. I love Delaware State University. I decided I have I decided to finish my degree here. I was comfortable here. I knew my way around the campus. I had good relationships with teachers and advisors. And my lab partner and I won the third place in biology in DSU's summer symposium. These are high school students now, don't forget. These experiences allow me to travel to Europe to research more. Doors opened for me. I recently graduated from DSU with a bachelor's degree in biological sciences and a minor in chemistry. This young woman is way smarter than I am. Now I'm applying for DSU's chemistry program to get my master's degree. It made me possible not many other universities offer a program like Early College High School, a place when you can dream big dreams. Very sincerely, 
Destiny King. Thank you. I believe that early college high school, we are raising hornets who leave the high school nest or hive, whichever one you would like to call it, <laughs> with college credits and a can-do attitude. They rise to DSU where they learn to build their own nest with education, values, and optimism. Thank you, DSU, for creating the first high school on a university campus in the state of Delaware and inspiring our students to reach higher and take their place in the world. Thank you. Just one more thing, Destiny got accepted in the master's program. Good morning, DSU. Good morning. It's a great day to celebrate 130 years. My name is Devontae Brown, a 20-year-old rising senior, business management major from Queens, New York, and I serve as your SGA vice president underneath division administration for the 2021-2022 academic year. When you think of DSU 130 years ago, who would have envisioned we would be here today? The progress this illustrious HBCU has made over these years has been absolutely amazing. I've been attending DSU for only three years so far and been visiting DSU way before that. And the way this campus has grown over these three years alone makes me smile. It makes me think about what progress we will make as a university in the next 130 years to come. I want you guys to understand that if you are sitting here today at either alumni, staff, faculty, administration, or even the current Hornet, that you are the reason that this campus is thriving. And you are the reason that this campus will continue to progress. I just want to say thank you guys for coming out to celebrate 130 years. I know a lot of you guys travel from way far, probably from New York, Philly, DC, wherever. So I just want to thank you guys for coming out and celebrating this with us. Thank you. Good morning, Delaware State University. Good morning. Good morning, Delaware State University. It's a beautiful day. It says it's 72, but I think it's like 81. <laughs> My name is Samaj Hazard. I am a 20-year-old rising senior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, majoring in middle education with a concentration in English education. And I serve as your Student Government Association president for the 2021-2022 academic school year under the Advision Administration. <laughs> when, when I think about first arriving on campus, you know, a couple years back, for my welcome days, I, 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 stepped, I had set foot on this campus as a freshman, and I was completely lost. I didn't know what I wanted to do on this campus to distinguish myself from the bunch, but I wanted to figure out how can I leave a legacy upon graduating. As the days went by, I looked around campus, and I began to grow a vision. Not only a vision for me and my personal development, but a vision for what I could do to help my administration make this the best HBCU on the planet. Not only across the East Coast, but across the world, Europe, and wherever you could think of. Today we are here to celebrate 130 years as a successful institution. And I sit here and I look around and I just wonder, what would this school be like in the next 130 years? And, and when I think of that, I have nothing to do but to smile. A lot of people were pessimistic about our plan for COVID-19. But what I can say that many people thought that what we were doing was the impossible. But can I say that we made it possible? And not only have we been doing the impossible since 1891, we're doing the impossible in the present, the past, and the future. And we will keep doing the impossible because that's what makes Delaware State University stand out amongst all the other colleges and HBCUs. This is a legacy of greatness. Be proud because this is, a, this is excellence that's going to continue to grow and become better and better. And to conclude, I want to leave you all with these last few words. 
As I think back to the first time I stepped on this illustrious campus and to understand that I want everyone to realize that there is no limit to your success. You must leave a legacy upon leaving this campus. And when you do so, you must leave with integrity. And when you leave with integrity, you must have a vision of what it's like to leave Delaware State University's campus and become an amazing citizen, not only in this country, but as, as the world progresses. So be proud to be a part of Delaware State University. I think it's nothing but we give praise and excellence and thankfulness to this university. Now, before I exit the podium, I would like to acknowledge a trailblazer on this campus that has paved the way not only for Delaware State University, but for Delaware as a whole. Throughout my leadership here at DSU, this individual has worked with us collaboratively on various projects, pushing us to strive for more and letting us know that anything is possible when we put our minds to it. He has prevailed through one of the most difficult years in American history, and he has shown us that nothing can stop Delaware State University. For those that do not know, he is a true honorary member of New Edition, and best believe he knows every song. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Dr. Tony Allen. You're not supposed to tell my secrets, Samaj. Good morning, Hornets. I'm glad we were able to give you a taste of the students at Delaware State University. I had the great, great privilege, the great privilege to work under the first female president of Delaware State University, Dr. Wilma Michu. And I can't tell you how many times she says, Tony, remember my first priority, students first. Students first. And the quality of these students, regardless of where they come from, what obstacles they had to overcome, they are Delaware State University, and that means that they are the very, very best. Now, I'm, I'm going to make a course correction in my speech. Before I begin, I'm going to have a musical selection from one of my favorite people in the world. You've already heard the story of Delaware State University. Many of you know it, but I want you to remember three numbers, three, three, and seven. 1891, three buildings, three instructors, and seven students. And then I want you to remember this Bible verse. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Three, three, and seven. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been following this lady, Tara, and I've been following this lady literally, literally, for four years across the country. She's from Chester. Uh-huh. Lives in Atlanta. <laughs> is a Spelman grad. Married a Morehouse man. Listen. <laughs> and you're gonna think she's an incredible artist, but she's really a prophet. I want you all to give Avery Sunshine an incredible Delaware State University welcome. Let him talk about it, Avery. I love you, my dear brother. Family, thank you so much, and I never know what to do. Uh, but, but since you're clapping, you're making me feel so good. I, I, I am glad to be here. I am grateful that God would allow me to be here for your 130 year anniversary. And I'm so grateful that Dr. Allen is my friend and my brother. And I, I spoke to some of the young ladies that were helping us today. I said, what y'all think about Dr. Allen? They're like, He's great. It's not so much what people say in front of you, it's what they say about you when you're not around somebody. So to hear that and to know you're doing amazing work, 
Uh, I promise I'm not going to preach today, but I have to tell you all, uh, uh, the young men that came up, uh, the, the SGA president and vice president, y'all, DSU is important to me because my family is from Dover, Delaware. The whites and the patents. And, and my uncle, my uncle Lamar Turner in 1966 was the SGA president of DSU. So I'm here to shine with you all because DSU is my family. So I just want to sing this song for you. I want you to shine. If you feel like clapping and singing, you can do that with me. Listen, I'm leaning on my window pane, ready to holler out my name. Somebody holler out DSU. Hey, wanting the world to hear my voice. Cause I've finally made a conscious choice Now I know why I am here Joy and love replace my fear I'm holding on to my bootstraps And I'm not afraid to say that I'm so proud of me I'm gonna shine, shine, shine I'm right where I should be I'm gonna shine, shine, shine I hope that you will see Yeah, yeah, yeah That you've got to shine, shine, shine Somebody say shine Shine Say shine, shine, shine It's your time to shine Living to love and loving life hey. Oh Close my eyes so I can see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my eyes wouldn't let me see. No, 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 no. Uh, now I know why I am here. Joy and love replace my fear. I'm holding on to my bootstraps and I'm not afraid to say that. I'm some noise somebody right so if I have some singers out here I want y'all to help me real quick any sopranos okay it's all right just two that's all we need all right any altos come on altos always in the house any tenors and basses oh any tenors and basses okay we're gonna see so sopranos I just want you to say 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 shine 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 Hey, y'all sound good. Come on, say, say, shine, shine, shine. Oh, y'all sound good. Now, altos, y'all say, shine, shine, shine. Come on, DSU altos, say, shine, hey, shine, shine. Now, tennis and bass, y'all gonna say, shine, shine, hey, shine. Y'all, they not playing with us. Come on, say, say, shine. Shine, shine. Now, if you got a reason to shine, everybody say shine, shine, hey, shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say shine, hey, shine, hey, shine. Oh, shine your light on me, hey, shine your light on me. I need you, I need you, I need you. Just like you say, shine, shine, shine. Hey, one more time, say shine, shine, yeah, shine. Y'all keep right on shining, family. Congratulations. Yes. Come on, Pastor. You know you're the. Y'all better <laughs> give it up for Avery Sunshine. <laughs> God bless you and congratulations, y'all.
Shine, 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 shine. Mm, 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 my God. Three, three, and seven. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I entered this post January 1st, 2020. March 12th, I sent all our students home, except 200. Think of those 200 as otherwise homeless without Delaware State University. We cared for those students. We made sure they ate, maintained their academic studies. Vita and team built a food shelter. But we knew that those 200 students were a proxy for so many of our students that were coming from some very vulnerable situations. So we immediately started the Student Emergency Relief Fund. And we put a stake in the ground. We said we want to raise $1 million. We didn't have $1, but we wanted to raise $1 million. Six weeks later, we had raised $1.5 million. Eighty-six percent of the donations came from Delaware State University alumni. Dr. Mishu, that's when I knew we were all good. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But that's not all. Dr. Williams and I were talking about the budget crisis we were facing, which was upwards of $25 million. I'll say that again. We were facing a budget crisis of $25 million. Family, to date, from that moment, we have raised $40 million for Delaware State University. But that's not all. We had to think about how we were going to reopen Many colleges and universities across this country said they were going to vo go virtual for the last academic year. And many colleges did go virtual for the last academic year. We said we can't do that because we knew that 200 stood as a proxy for so many of our students. So we had to get them here. Enter Neil Hochstein. Neil, would you stand up? Neil Hochstein, keep standing, Neil. Neil Hochstein represents Testing for America. Testing for America was a new nonprofit. By that, they may have been three days old. But he came to me and, said, and did not know me and said, I want to make sure that schools like Delaware State University are able to reopen and reopen safely. I asked a couple of questions. I said, well, who have you been working with? Nobody. What do you plan to do? I plan to develop your whole testing protocol and raise the money for that protocol. I said, how are you going to raise that money? Not sure. I said, um, why are you so committed to this? He said, uh, I have a partner. They have a physician practice. They have a partner named Dr. Joan Coker. who said, if you want to do something meaningful, you should probably start with Delaware State University. Ladies and gentlemen, a year and some change later, we have developed the best testing protocol in America. And I'm not kidding. We have administered 78,000 tests for students, staff, and faculty, 78,000. We've had a half a percent positivity rate, a half a percent positivity rate. And Neil and Testing for America and Dr. Joan Coker raised every dollar for each of those tests. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, 
the evidence of things not seen. But that's not all. We spent some time with our faculty. And when Dr. Michu was president, one of the first things she did was say, uh, Tony, let's try to give every student, incoming freshman, an Apple iPad or a Mac, uh, MacBook Pro and make sure that their faculty have the same device. Why? Because many of our students got to Delaware State University but didn't have money to pay for books, so would wait till they could scrape up the money in the middle of the semester before they pay for books which put them far behind their classmates. So we did it. John Ridgway was one of the key members of the trustees pushing that initiative. That was 2018. As provost then, I declared under Dr. Michu's leadership that Delaware State University would be digital by 2020. March 2020 came we didn't have any other thing to do but to go digital right away. Guess what? 1,700 in-person classes were converted to online in five days. Why I tell you all of this? I'm telling you all this for a couple of reasons. One, I know the legend of Jerome Holland. I know what he meant to this institution. I know he literally saved Delaware State University. I'm also aware that at the time Dr. Luna Mishu took over Delaware State University, we had 400 students. When he left, we had 2,600 students. I'm also clear that Dr. DeLauder had a vision that we are already a great college why can't we be a great university? And in 1994, it changed Delaware State College to Delaware State University. I'm completely aware the man who hired me grew our enrollment, Dr. Harry Williams, 40%, 40% over his tenure. And ladies and gentlemen, just so you're clear, that college, three students, seven students, three instructors, three buildings, is now a $140 million organization. A $28 million research portfolio. A $40 million endowment. 25,000 alum. And guess what? We just bought Wesley College. Why is that important? Dr. Mishu used to tell me, Tony, I, when I was growing up, I couldn't go to the Schwartz Theater and sit downstairs. I had to sit. You too, huh? I had to sit in the balcony. Dr. Mishu, in her ever positive way, said, it's a better view up there anyway. <laughs> we need to do something about that. We owned the Schwartz 50% with Wesley College. So when we got to the time of the transaction with Wesley, one of the first things we said was every time we try to help you raise a little money, we want to make sure that we get something in return. The first thing we did was support them as they got some support from the state of Delaware and then ask for our 50% of the Schwartz Center. So now Delaware State University owns the place that wouldn't let people who look like us come in the front door. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I also know, talking to some other alumni, we weren't always welcome on Wesley's campus in downtown Dover. We were the little black school behind the brick wall. But guess what? We just got 50 acres of land, 21 buildings, 500 students, and the opportunity to build the best College of Health and Behavioral Sciences you will ever see. 
So you all may relish in this 130th year. And I know that as you do, it ain't about me. We are standing on shoulders of giants. We are standing on shoulders of giants. We haven't been lucky or blessed now. It's our time. It's our time. God's been telling us to go forth and serve. So this 5,000 student university, I promise you, will grow to 10,000 students in the next seven years. And here's what I know before I sit down. One of the ways we're going to do that is that for every Delaware student who has a 2.75, commits to public service while they're at Delaware State University, the state of Delaware is going to sponsor our Inspire scholarships, which will give them full tuition at Delaware State University. And y'all can keep on clapping because one of the people that is going to be responsible for that in the next 10 days is Representative Dr. Stephanie T. Bolden. Come on and stand up, Stephanie T. Y'all can do better than that. I said full tuition scholarships. And I'll take a point of personal privilege here. I believe that is Senator Carper. Senator Carper will tell you a story that he started his political career at the ETV building right over there. And when I told you we, we changed our name and our situation from Delaware State College to Delaware State University, that required legislation. So Dr. DeLauder went to then Governor Carper and said, I need you to sign this bill. Governor Carper was the one who signed the bill that made Delaware State College, Delaware State University. And more importantly than that, he's been with us ever since. So as I look upon all of you, see my beautiful bride-to-be, my mama, my uncle, my cousin, and recognize that I am uh, the first person in my generation to go to college. And also recognize that people I see every day, like Ja'Kai Bland and Tyson Hicks and so many other students who just figured out a way to get here, didn't know what they were going to make it, but had the opportunity to look at me and you and all of us and can believe again. That's why this place is so special. Remember three three, and seven. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Allen, and thank you, alumni, over and over again. I don't know if you really, really can appreciate the significance of what he just told you about that state-inspired scholarship. Now, for some of us, it didn't cost thousands and thousands of dollars to go to Delaware State College back in the day. But it might have felt like thousands and thousands of dollars, right? You had to struggle then, as so do so many of our Delaware graduates have to struggle today. And when Dr. Williams first went and asked for that scholarship, you know it was not a full scholarship. They didn't fund Delaware State University students full tuition. In fact, they didn't even fund them for the whole four years of a college education. They only funded three of the four. And they put so many restrictions in there. You had to have such a high grade point average. You had to do community service. And you could not have had any, any experiences with the criminal justice system at all, even as a juvenile. 
When I became president, the first thing I said was, why are we only funding four years when this, I mean three years, when this is a four-year institution? So we fought to get the scholarship funded for all four years. But even with that, and it's not about me, even with that, it wasn't full, it wasn't all of the cost of the tuition. And here comes Dr. Allen, and he says, let's make this thing right all the way. We need you to fund the full tuition because our students need it, and they certainly deserve it. And so that's a monumental accomplishment for this institution that did not happen overnight. And I just want you, the alumni, to realize the significance of what has just happened. Our students deserve it, and nothing less than the best. Now, I'm going to move this program along. See, I turned it over to the students because I know I'd have you here all day. <laughs> and he's already been introduced, but I'm going, to, I'm going to say a few more words about our illustrious senior, senior state senator in the United States Senate. He is the one who's responsible for signing that piece of legislation when he was yet governor of the state of Delaware that changed the name of this institution, again, from Delaware State College. How many of you are Delaware State College alum? See? See? He is the one that signed that legislation that changed that name to Delaware State University. During more than 30 years of public service, Senator Tom Carper has worked tirelessly to develop practical solutions to real problems. His ability to work across the aisle and across party lines has earned him a reputation of consensus building that is unique <laughs> in today's political climate. As the top Democrat on the Environment and Public Works Committee, Senator Carper leads the fight to protect our environment and clean up our air as the committee's ranking member in the 117th Congress. Senator Carper also serves as a senior member of the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee, having served as the committee's chairman in the 117th Congress and ranking member in the 114th Congress. In his time in the U.S. Senate, Senator Carper has worked extensively on reforming our health care system, improving our environment, and ensuring that federal programs are run effectively and efficiently. Tom Carper was elected the 78th governor of Delaware in 1992 and served two terms in that role as governor he pursued a common sense agenda that led to eight balanced budgets. Eight state balanced budgets. That's right, applause. <laughs> Tax cuts in seven of those eight years and major increases in employment. I was here so I can attest to everything that's being said. He did it. On July 1st, as has already been said, 1993, Governor Tom Carper signed Senate Bill 138, Senate Bill 138, which changed Delaware State College to Delaware State University. Senator Carper, would you please come and greet us at this time? I'll leave it up really high for the next meeting. Right? How, how's that? Dr. Dr. Nice round of applause for our media past president. Remember the board? She's done it all. I'm going to take my mask off. I asked, I said, can I hug you? And she said, you bet. I'm vaccinated. So am I. How many people are vaccinated? Raise your hand. All right. How many are in the process of getting vaccinated? Raise your hand. 
All right, we have some vaccine in back. <laughs> the guy uh, has some great athletic uh, teams here in the past. Uh, I'm not a huge hockey fan, but there's a great hockey player named uh, Wayne uh, Gretzky. I don't know if anybody, anybody ever here hear Wayne Gretzky? Was, people used to say to Wayne Gretzky, why are you such a great hockey player? He always says, I go where the puck will be, not where the puck is. That's what he says. I go where the puck will be, not where the puck is. And that's really kind of what Delaware State University is doing. The other thing uh, Wayne Gretzky uh, said was, uh, I missed every shot I never took. Think about that. Yes. I missed every shot yes. I never took. Yes. And with respect to this uh, pandemic and this virus and the opportunity to get uh, shots, to get vaccines, what I say to people who haven't been vaccinated, don't miss a shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. If you know somebody, they might be a relative, they might be a neighbor, they might be a friend, and they haven't been vaccinated, Tell them, take the shot. Let me hear you say that. Take the shot. Take the shot. One more time. Take the, shot. take the shot. There you go. That's all I have. You should be so lucky. I remember well her father. And when I was uh, over here at the ETV building, as President Allen is uh, referred to, uh, working in uh, economic development, I was just out of the Navy. Just out of the, I'd been a naval flight officer in the Vietnam War. I'm the last Vietnam veteran serving in the U.S. Senate today. And I, um, before uh, I came back to Delaware, I actually remember in, I was 20, uh, 22 years old. 22 years old, I had graduated from Ohio State Navy ROTC. And I had um, started my training down at Pensacola Naval Air Station to become a Naval Flight Officer. Had a long weekend with my buddy, Sal Serio, who's from Baltimore. He said, let's, let's, um, Go to Baltimore. Let's go to Baltimore for the weekend. I said, Sal, we don't have any money. And we didn't. He said, well, we could hitchhike. And I said, that's a long way to Baltimore to hitchhike. And he said, on airplanes. On airplanes. And I said, ah, I think I understand what you're saying. He said, we could get a ride from uh, Corpus Christi Naval Air Station to uh, some place in San Antonio where they have Air Force bases, and then fly to Charleston, and then fly to Dover, and then catch a ride. And uh, we did. We flew uh, through the night with the Navy first and then with the Air Force. Got to Air Force Base down at Dover. Anybody here ever been to the Air Force Base? Do you know where the uh, bus terminal is? Yep. They don't have one. <laughs> they didn't have one then either. Right. And we got off the, the plane down here and went inside a hangar, uh, Mr. President, we said, uh, uh, we're uh, trying to get to, uh, Where's the bus station? He said, where's the bus station? He said, we don't have a bus station. So we're trying to get to Baltimore. And he said, good luck. <laughs> good luck. And they said, well, what are we going to do? And they said, you can go out and stand in front of the Dover Air Force Base at the main gate. And there's a place that's set aside for people who are trying to get a ride in uniform. And you'll get a ride. And we said, to Baltimore? The guy said, good luck. <laughs> we went to the front gate. And we waited. And sure enough, somebody stopped. We told them we're going to Baltimore. The driver said, good luck. <laughs> and about uh, 20 drivers later, somebody stopped. And it was a milkman. It was a milkman. And uh, he said, where are you guys going? And we said, we're going to Baltimore. And guess what he said? So am I. And we rode all the way to Baltimore in a milk truck. We rode right by this campus. Right by this campus. I was 22 years old. It was just one or two years ago. And, uh, but uh, I was on my way to our nation's capital, and my, that trip actually kind of changed my life, if you want to know the truth. And uh, I, when I was privileged to be uh, later on your congressman, your governor, but I uh, literally worked for an economic development for about half a year, right at the ETV building, learned a lot. Even now, when people ask me what I do, I say, I help people. I help people. Folks say, how do you help them? Well, I help them make sure they get a job. Help make sure that they're trained to get a job. And as the, as, as the former president said, when I, the, eight, the eight years I was governor, more jobs were actually created in those eight years than any eight-year period in the history of the state of Delaware. Right. And let me just be, be quick to add, I didn't create one of them. We worked together. We worked together to create those, those jobs. Delaware State University can be the economic uh, linchpin, the economic driver for central uh, Delaware, for Delmarva, and, that's, and you're on your way to doing that. We need Delaware State to be that economic driver. Yeah. In order to create jobs and create job opportunities, you need a well-educated workforce. 
starts with kindergarten. It actually starts before kindergarten, all the way through 12 grades of school, and then on to two years in the, maybe a Dell, Dell Tech or four years here, maybe six years here. But that's where it starts. We need research. We need research that can be monetized, that can be uh, turned into economic opportunity to job creation. That's what you do here. And when I was working here at the ET Field Building all those years ago, there wasn't all that much research going on that could be monetized and turned into economic development. But boy, that has changed today. That has changed today. Give Delaware State a good round of applause. It is a huge, huge accomplishment. And the last thing I'll say is this uh, fellow named Harry Truman, long time ago president. Harry Truman, uh, he was actually president when I was born. Never met him. He was president when I was born. One of the things he used to say was, uh, the only thing new in the world is the history we forgot or never learned. Think about that. The only thing new in the world is the history we forgot or never learned. I want to just add a, a, just, a little bit of a, just a little bit of a correction to, uh, to the, uh, the reference, the, the role that I played on uh, signing uh, the legislation into law on Jan July 1st, uh, 1993. About uh, six months before that, I was a new governor. Delaware State had a pretty new uh, president, and he come up here from uh, North Carolina A&T. Anybody remember his name? Delauder. Bill DeLauder. I think he has a daughter-in-law around here somewhere, and uh, who's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is the provost. And uh, Dr. DeLauder came to see me. I was brand new, and was over in the legislative hall. Never forget the day. And uh, I liked him immediately. How many have met, met and known Dr. DeLauder? I met that man. I liked him immediately. And you know what he said to me that day? He said, why don't we turn Delaware State College into Delaware State University? And he talked to me about how we might go about doing that, that and why it was important. And boy, you ever hear the word prescient? Boy, his words were prescient. And uh, I said, uh, how can I help? He said, you can make this a priority of your administration. And uh, you can encourage the legislature to make this a priority in the House and the Senate, Democrats and Republicans. And you can uh, talk to someone like uh, Senator Herman Holloway, senior, and urge him to be the uh, sponsor of this bill. He was one of the leaders in the Senate. And uh, we did all those things. And about three months later, I signed the bill into law. Yes. Three months later, signed the bill into law. Bill DeLauder would be so proud of uh, where we are today, Tony. So proud. Your, uh, your dad would be so proud. Your dad would be so proud of where we are today. It has been, uh, when people ask me what I'm proud of is time I've spent in public office in this state, I always say in the top three, Delaware State University. Always say in the top three, Delaware State University. And they'll say, why? And I say, because the hornets are rising. The hornets are rising. The hornets are rising. Keep on rising. God bless you. Congratulations. 130 and counting. Get up again for Senator Carper. We're going to hear from uh, Stephanie T. in a minute, so prepare your remarks. But before we do that, anybody want to hear from a, a young lady named Avery Sunshine again? No, no, no. She's only, this is her last song, so you got to bring her. You got to bring her. Anybody want to hear from Avery Sunshine? My sister, do it up. My dear brother, uh, I listened to Dr. Allen and all the amazing people speak this morning. And Dr. Allen, you talked about faith. And I sat with my husband and I listened to you list all of the blessings that have been bestowed, not just on you all individually, but as a collective on DSU and I, I, I see that you all are a shining example of what faith and works are together. Faith without works is dead somebody. So go ahead and give God some praise for all the work and all the faith. So I would be remiss if I didn't leave this with you all. Because the Lord is my Everything I need God 
God lets me rest in the meadow's grass, yes, yes. And God leads me through the quiet stream. God restores my failing hand, yes. And God helps me to do what I honors God the most. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. Safe in God's arms. Oh, if you believe in somebody, it's all right to wave your hands. I'm going to win the storm. Storms of life are raging, and the billows and the billows oh, they roll. Oh, they begin to roll, and I am. I'm glad. I'm glad. God shall hide me. safe in God's arms and his loving arms safe in God's the Lord Lord Jesus anybody grateful anybody blessed the Lord is blessing me right now, oh, right now. Come on, family, y'all can say that. The Lord, Lord is blessing me, yes, right now, oh, right now. Listen, you woke me up this morning. Clothe me in my right mind. Yeah. You didn't let me sleep too late. And, oh, you woke me, woke me, woke me right on time. Is this a celebration, somebody? Oh, yes, you did. So all you have to say with me is this, y'all, if you believe it. The Lord is blessed. Keep praying and keep right on shining, y'all. Happy 130th anniversary. Thank you, my dear brother. I told, I told her husband, Dana, they're going to get tired of us because you're coming back to Delaware State University. Dr. Mishu, would you come on and join me?
have to have a little meeting up in here. Up in here. You know how that goes, right? All right. All right. We have, well, let me just first say all of you are extra special in this audience. Every single one of you. And every single one of you have your name on a page at Delaware State University. So if I don't call you out specifically, please don't feel slighted about it. Just know, just know we honor every single one of you. Um, and we have lots more on our program to get through. So let me move it along some more. My job was to move the program along. That's what they told me. They said, don't talk, just move it along. We have some other distinguished um, members in the audience, and I would at this time like to call on our state treasurer. Our state treasurer will bring a few remarks, Carlene Davis, um, and after hearing what a great job our Senator Carper did, come right on, come right on, state treasurer. Thank you so much. I know, right? <laughs> Good to you see can you. do it. Yeah, you thank you. Thank you so much uh, for, for having me here today. I just want to say that um, I first set foot on this campus at the age of 19. And this morning I was thinking about that year. It was the same year that my great grandmother passed away. And she arrived here after her father put her on a ship with her younger brother. Uh, their mother had passed away and they, he sent them off from Ireland to uh, a, a better place. And when they arrived here, their aunt was caring for them. Within the first year of their arrival, she passed away as well. And both of them, my great grandmother and her younger brother, ended up in an orphanage. And they lived the rest of their childhood there. Um, when she became uh, uh, age of 18, my great grandmother did not want to leave her younger brother behind. And so the nuns there taught her the books, and she, uh, she began to manage their books for them and, and became an accountant. Uh, she went on to uh, continue to be an accountant for uh, a union, the Iron Workers Union in Manhattan. And she ended up uh, you know, coming here to Delaware, to Ocean View, Delaware, where I grew up uh, and, and actually went to Indian River High School and um, Yes, and, and Ms. Hobbs, you laid a hand in my education as well as DSU. And one of the things that I think about as I think about 130 years, we all have this history of standing on the shoulders of those who've come before us. And one of the amazing things that you all have done here at DSU, Delaware State University, you all have made the students your focus. I was a kid who struggled. I waited till mid-semester to buy my books. I, uh, I looked for a, an older student who could give me their books. I, I had to scrape uh, because my parents couldn't pay a single penny toward my college education. And it was tough. And I think if I had come here full time and, and graduated here, uh, I would have been part of this bigger family. And yet I am because you have imparted on me. I came here and got a great education for the short time that I was here. But one of the amazing things is that you keep that mission. You've been innovative, but you've done it for the students. You have looked at your finances and you've put your money there in your students. And that's how you grow. That's how you've created this mentorship and this family. So when kids arrive here as young adults who are looking for opportunities, you've created them. And so congratulations to 130 years because you've touched more lives than you know. We in my office have created um, uh, internships, and every single person here has the ability to do that. I want to encourage you to take in those students and get them grounded, get their feet under them, and send them out into the world in the same way that your trustees have committed to. Congratulations, and thank you so much for the work that you do. It is powerful. Thank you. Thank you again to our state senator, I'm sorry, our state treasurer, 
Ms. Davis. I'm going to call the president back up. We're going to do this together. Um, go ahead, Tony. So I think you all know Representative Stephanie T. Bolden and what she's meant to Delaware, not just Delaware State University. But Dr. Michu and I uh, have worked together proudly for many years now. And uh, every time we needed to go to Leg Hall, we knew the first person we were supposed to call. We were right. not only should call, but we're supposed to call. And you know, if you don't call, <laughs> You're going Dr. To hear, Stephanie right? T. Bold, <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. But I just wanted to say um, about the Inspire Scholarship, Dr. Michu spoke about it. She is the prime sponsor, along with Senator Trey Pardee, on that legislation, which is in fact historic, historic for us. And right, right before you step up, Dr. Bolden, I want you to see what Inspire is going to do for this incredible university. Zach, roll the tape. Hello, Horry family. Look, you're always going to be number one in my book. I can't wait to see what you all accomplish. The largest class in Delaware State University's 129-year history. The one that has endured perhaps the most unforeseen storm in our nation's history. It's now your turn to change the world. Hornets rise to new challenges, to new discoveries, and to new solutions. So dare to be different, and don't be afraid to be yourself. Because now, you run the world. Because together, we are all unstoppable. It's very important to protect their safety and also make sure that we can get to the finish line. Hornets, it's game time. You've gone through some significant struggles, but this is our moment to show who we are. I believe that you will make history. Delaware State University receiving a $20 million donation from philanthropist Mackenzie Scott. But what we do have is the need to want to make it better. And we will do that. Representative Bolden, would you please come forward and greet us at this time? And while she's coming, just let me say, you saw those young ladies in the cheerleading, and, and I remember her <laughs> in one of those uniforms, don't I? I remember her right here on this campus, right over there, in one of those uniforms. She is the longest serving elected African-American woman in the state of Delaware. And she is the class of 1969 Delaware State University Hornet. We are so honored to have you with us this Thank afternoon. You. Dr. Oh, y'all stop. Yeah, mine's going hard. <laughs> Please greet us. Good afternoon, everyone. I, I do want to correct a few things. Uh, but the, uh, President Allen did indicate the number of buildings they had here on campus. Well, I think we had the same number of buildings when we were students here as well. <laughs> but, and I'm sure a lot of you over there, we didn't have very many. We had the T building. Remember, we had to deal with all the cows and things down there. That was the business building. <laughs> anyway, it was a good, good time. So I'd like to be bring greetings to members of the Board of Trustees, President Dr. Allen, faculty, students, alumni, honored guests, and friends of Delaware State University. It is with great pleasure that I am able to bring greetings here today from the Delaware State House of Representatives and as an alumni of the class of 69. To be able to participate with you today at this anniversary convocation commemorating 130 years of education from the state's only, and I'll say it again, the state's only HBCU, okay? We are being recognized nationally, celebrating 130 years of a university that we love, that elicits my storehouse 
of common memories, faculty, and pride that comes back to me each and every time I am able to come on this campus. Of course, a lot has changed since the time we were here. I can't even identify some of the buildings that were here, but we were responsible for getting the second uh, male dormitory, which was named after Megger Evers, after we had to do a little extra things to get it done here, and Martin Luther King um, Student Center. It also heightens our appreciation of the work of many leaders who preceded us and certainly invokes many thoughts about what the future may hold for DSU. I am here with so much, what kind of pride? Haunted pride today. So today I hope to inspire our alumni and friends to continue supporting DSU as we press forward on this historic journey to recognize who we are and what we stand for. As we recall, it was May of 1891 when the institution was established thanks to the legislation supported by the Delaware General Assembly. So I, as a state legislator, am fully engaged and committed to public service. This reflection brings to me overwhelming joy. For most of us, and for the many generations of Dell State graduates, including myself, this 130 years has provided, and I'll say provided, and many of you may remember, the black community with higher educational opportunities that we were not allowed to receive from traditional colleges and universities. It also fostered an important space for the flight for civil rights, equality, and black liberation. Our experiences at Dell State is bound with the intellectual pursuits that we have followed and with the sustaining friendships that we have made. Yet neither those intellectual pursuits nor friendships, important as they are, captures what Dell State is and what we celebrate here today. Many of you have helped to shape the history and advance the story of Delaware State University throughout the years. And what was then and what is now? Enter to learn, go forth to serve, is why you should be very, very proud and all of us are appreciated. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you today. Thank you for letting me be here. And let's go Hornets and do more from now on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Representative Bolden. She not only represents her district from Wilmington, she represents Delaware State University. She is Delaware State University down there in Legislative Hall. And we claim you every single minute. I want you to know that. I want you to know that. On behalf of the committee and all of Delaware State University, I'm going to have my co-chair co to present you with this special gift. Let me know what you need from me as student governor. Yes. She said to them for them to let her know what she what they need from her. So now you all make sure you do that, okay? Um, before my co MCs take over, I would be remiss if I did not at this time acknowledge another alum who we are so proud of and who currently serves on our board of trustees. Our alum, your alum, Estelda Parker Selby. Please stand up. Former alumni president as well. Trustee. Thank you. Okay, guys, take it away. Where are we off now? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see her back there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she called her out, did she not?
Yes, and please come. No, no, no. We have to hear from our slave. We are so proud. No, yes, we do. Just say hello. Come up. Please come up. Good morning. I am proud to be home once again. Go Hornets. <laughs> Start the first round. What, there? Yeah. Alumni remarks? Yeah. Start with alumni remarks. Okay. All right. So on behalf of the 130th alumni remarks, we would like to take the time to say these names because, you know, we're greatly, greatly appreciated for them and everything they've done for our university. So we have Anna Handy. She graduated in 1988. She is the Secretary, National Delaware State University Alumni Association. Good afternoon. What a beautiful day it is. I bring greetings on behalf of our national president, Clifton Burrell, who was unable to attend today, but he sends his regards on this momentous day. I am Anna Puckham Handy. I am the recording secretary of DSUAA. We congratulate Delaware State University on this historic milestone, 130 years of perseverance through many challenges that has led us to this awesome place of higher education leadership. Make no mistake about it, Delaware State University has been the center of Delaware's history this whole time. What a glorious day it was then, what a glorious day it is today. Those young black Delawareans becoming the first pioneers of Delaware in terms of higher education, becoming our very first alumni. This is something we shouldn't take lightly or take for granted. Yes, they entered to learn and went forth to serve, opening the doors for all of us to have an opportunity to become competent, productive, and contributing citizens during a time when we basically had little rights and definitely we were not supposed to learn. There are several HBCUs that didn't make it this far, but we are still here. We are stronger than ever. And we congratulate our leadership, and we thank you, our Board of Trustees, President, Administration, staff, students, and engaged alumni. Because of your leadership, because of your innovation, because of your accountability, because of your determination, we have been a force to be reckoned with. And we are still standing stronger than ever. And we continue getting better every day. DSUAA want you to know that you have our total support. We want to continue to strengthen our partnership with you, and we look forward to moving forward with you in the future. Congratulations and best wishes to another 130 years. Thank you. Thank you. I know we're all enjoying ourselves and I'm, and I'm grateful for the event. Um, I ask that though the remaining speakers, excuse me, I ask that all the remaining speakers, if we can make our remarks brief, we have other events that we want to have and you know be able to showcase. So we want to stay on time schedule. Uh, with that being said, we'll move forward with our alumni remarks. We'll hear from Monica Peel next. Following Monica Peel, we'll have Dr. Lorene Robinson in that order. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'll keep it short. <laughs> Members of the Board of Trustees, President Dr. Tony Allen, faculty, students, alumni, honored guests, 
and friends of the university. It is with great pleasure to welcome you today to Delaware State University's 130th anniversary celebration. It has been my honor as a member of Friends Forever to participate on the anniversary steering committee. As chair of the social media and marketing committee, I've had the opportunity and pleasure to work with an A-list, all-star, all-alumni team. This team has done a phenomenal job on branding, marketing, and promoting the school's anniversary on several social media platforms, radio commercials, banners, posters, and the one minute and 30 second share your favorite memory video. Who's on this awesome team? Dante Jones, DSU, early college high school football coach. Jasmine Goko, Blake Saunders, my awesome rock star and co-chair, Dr. Don Mosley, Associate Vice President, DSU Marketing. And last but not least, the amazing Dr. Marcia Taylor, Executive Director for the Office of Alumni Relations. These special individuals, yes, they all deserve a hand. These special individuals, along with other subcommittees spearheaded by alumni, have played an extremely important role in celebrating 130 years. Without them, this could not be possible. I also would like to acknowledge Trustee John Ridgway and Dr. Vita Prickham for their support. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and enjoy the festivities for today. Congratulations, Delaware State University, celebrating 130 years. Good afternoon, fellow Hornets. What a glorious day it is. And I used to always like to say every day that we're at Delaware State University is a glorious day. I want to say to uh, Dr. Devonna Williams, Chair of the Board of Trustees and all the Board of Trustee members, to our University President, Dr. Tony Allen, and his leadership team, to the trustees, trustee members, of course, to trustee and alumnus John Ridgway, chair of this wonderful event, and Dr. Vita Pickram, co-chair, and all the members of the 130th Steering Committee for doing an awesome job. And lastly, to all my fellow alumni. All my fellow alumni, let me hear you shout out. I especially want to acknowledge those who came with me during the illustrious 70s, where we put our stamp on Delaware State University. <laughs> An anniversary represents a time to reflect upon the past while simultaneously focusing on the future, as we know. And because of the significant strides our university has made over these 130 years, we are confident that in another 130 years, DSU will still be standing. And not only that, what, be, what will be the place that other institutions will aspire to emulate. Over these 130 years, we have been blessed to have had and continue to have some of the best leaders, some of the most dedicated and talented faculty and staff, the most passionate alumni, and I can attest to that. <laughs> Outstanding students, and some of the most altruistic friends who have been our advocates, donors, and cheerleaders. We know that all of these individuals, generations of them, contributed to building the solid foundation upon which we proudly stand today. So today, as we celebrate this magnificent milestone, we acknowledge all those who back in 1891 with much trepidation and even more determination, made a down payment in cooperation with God on a future that is now our present. That currency that they used was faith, fortitude, foresight, and forbearance. 
We remember those who with God's grace assumed that note and came down with the down payment. Individuals who have been named today and one who sits by me now, Dr. Wilma Shu, whom I love dearly, and to Dr. Tony Allen, of course, for his illustrious leadership. I'm sure that all those persons look down on us today with pride to see how we have managed and how we have honored all the sacrifices they made. And when I worked here, I worked here for near a cumulative amount of almost 40 years. So I grew up on the campus and I count the years as an undergraduate. And all the times I walked the campus, I could always feel them here. I could always feel them with their arms around us saying, you're doing good, wow. What we dreamed has come to pass. And you know we are the dream that they dreamed. In closing, on behalf of all those who over these 130 years have entered here to learn and to grow, then to go forth to serve, making their marks on the world in ways that matter, because it all mattered back then and it continues to matter today, even more so. Happy 130th anniversary, my beloved Hornets, and I say, loved, yes, be loved, alma mater, God bless thee and thine. At this time, as we get closer to the festivities that we have going later, we have a very, very special alumni we would like to recognize. She is the co-chair of the 130th Anniversary Committee. She's the vice president of the Institutional Advancement and also the president of the Delaware State University Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Vita Pickram. How's everybody? Okay. Uh, this will be very quick because I know it's a little warm and we want to get on to the rest of the festivities. But we wanted to take some time, you know, to recognize, you know, some alums that have supported us over the decades. When I mean decades, I mean decades. And so if you just give us a moment, as I call your name, if you'll please stand. Uh, and we have just a token of our appreciation, you know, for each of you. So bear with me as I go through this list. And some of the individuals aren't with us today, uh, but we'll make sure that they receive their uh, acknowledgement. And I've asked uh, the chair of the committee to join with me. So uh, Dr. Do uh, Donald and Dolores Blakey, if you'll please stand. Havan and Parlene Bloxham, they're not here. Ned Brown, please stand. Susan Brown, please stand. Robert Drain is not here. Uh, Dr. Martin Drew and Sharon Drew, they're not here. Marion Gibbs, please stand. Uh, Dr. Alan Hamilton, he's not with us today. Carolyn Hepsgard uh, from Boston, she's not with us today. Dr. Reba Hollingsworth, please stand. Major Harrison, he's not with us today. Uh, Mildred Holmes, I don't know if Ms. Holmes is with us today. Okay, Dr. Geraldine Jones, please stand. One of my favorite people. <laughs> Dr. Scott King, I believe he's not, not able here. to join us today. Okay. Uh, Frank Marshall, please stand. Mr. Marshall, please stand. Thank you for your continued support. Eula Oliver, um, we want to recognize the late Philip Sadler, who is such a strong alum. Let's give him a round of applause for his legacy and support of the university. Jimmy and Tina Strong, they're in Atlanta, they're not, able, we wanted to, they're not able to join us today, but we wanted to recognize them as well. Peggy Swagger, did I see Peggy here? She may not have been able to join us as, as well. Robert Vanderhoes, there he is, all right. And Howard West, is Howard West with us today? There he is, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, please continue to stand as the volunteers bring you our token of appreciation. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry, I, I went too quick. Miss Arnell, please stand, Sandra. Hi, how are you? Okay. Can all of the alumni that was recently recognized please stand again so they'll know who you are and able to give you a gift? We do have a small token of our appreciation. And hey, we can do better than that. Let's make a, a, let's act like it's homecoming Saturday afternoon. We just won the football game. 
We're getting ready to get on for Earth, Wind, and Fire. So let's clap for our alumni. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for what they brought for us before. As we move forward into our program, we do bring you gifts. We do bring you gifts. How many of you still have your ticket that we handed you when you came in? Raise your hand if you kept your ticket. We have a, a gift of unspeakable value. I don't know if you had the opportunity to see this great book we put together of In Your Words. It has a story about every alumni. If you ever want to see what Don and Dolores Blakey looked like when Don was trying to talk to Dolores back in the day, that picture's in there. We got pictures of everybody in there, stories of everybody. You can't get away from Delaware State. So, if you have your ticket, we're going to have the drum roll, and I'm going to ask my All right. two alumnus. To... You guys ready? Uh, Can you get a drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. All right. We have five, two, one, four, five, nine, nine. We got a winner? Winner, winner, winner. There you go. There you go. We got a winner. Go. They even got a picture of Bernard Carr in there. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, we do. All the pictures you took, we had to put one of them in there. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll have the 130th anniversary time capsule presentation by, excuse me if I butcher your name, Monifa Carter. And Rejoice Sherry, excuse me. everybody. Um, thank you for joining us here today. My name is Vanifa Carter. I am the library's government documents librarian and its interim director. And it's my pleasure to present our time capsule uh, presented by the 130th anniversary committee. Um, we do want to thank everybody who participated, um, people who actually donated items for the time capsule, uh, 130th anniversary committee itself. Um, for putting this entire event together. And of course, our university archivist, who was key in gathering items to put in our time capsule. So the way this works is that we are going to seal up this glorious time capsule. It's going to be uncovered by a future generation of students and uh, Hornet alumni. And then it will be presented to the university at that point. So um, if you are interested in actually seeing the time capsule, it is available for viewing um, on that white table that's against the Student Center in the back there. So if you have a few minutes today, you can actually go back and take a look at it. Um, standing next to me today, we have our University Archivist and Special Collections Librarian, Ms. Rejoice Sherry. Um, would you have anything to add to that? Mm -hmm. I'm slightly taller. Uh, my name is Rejoice. I am proud to be the University Archivist and the steward of this institution's proud 130 years. Um, I'm also the sister of a class of 2017 graduate. Um, I'm probably the person that you don't want to tick off because I have all y'all pictures as baby hornets. Um, I've seen real funky hair and clothes. I've got it all. No, I'm just kidding. I'd never do that to you because I've already done it. Um, <laughs> The Hornet newspapers and yearbooks, as well as the course catalogs, have all been 100% digitized and are available publicly. If you Google DSU archives and yearbooks, it should pop up. So please go back and relive your memories and reflect on our 130 years of history. Um, the time capsule will feature items such as uh, items from Senator Carper, representative of our name change, a letter from President Allen to the future president in 25 years, and uh, various photographs, a manuscript from our very own Carlos Holmes about our remarked history, 
And all of those items will be sealed in the capsule at the homecoming. So we hope that you will join us again at that time. Thank you. Take this one. Thank you, ladies. I encourage all of you to go and look at the time capsule. Um, I was back there. I believe some of the some of the objects and the items are on the back table. I was looking at it, and I was amazed at some of the history and the things that were, you know, displayed. So I would encourage you all to look at that. So with that being said, we're going to go into our second drawing. Um, another winner will be announced. So can we have a drum roll, please? You ready again? I don't think y'all ready. Yeah. All right. Five, two, one, four, five, nine, nine. Different one. Uh, tripping, tripping. Take two, take two. Can we get another round vote? Had to play y'all real quick. See if y'all are paying attention. Five, two, one. Four, five, eight, three. Congratulations. Yes, ma'am. All right. And as she's coming up here, we do want to ask that, you know, we have a concert coming up. So hope you guys all stick around, alumni, students, so we can continue to celebrate the 130th. <laughs> we know that we are way, way over time. Y'all can blame it on me, but I'm home, y'all. Um, we can't end this portion of the program without acknowledging one of our, our most distinguished alum at this time, Ms. Susan Young Brown. Would you please, if you can, come forward? Ms. Brown has the distinct, distinction of being the oldest living Delaware State University alum at the age of 103. Look at her, and she can dance too. <laughs> Mrs. Brown, nothing gives me more of an honor and pleasure than to recognize you at this time as our distinguished alum. We're presenting her with a plant instead of cut flowers. Plants will continue to grow and there will be others spouting from it as has happened with Mrs. Brown. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's an honor. We're going to call on my sister, who truly wasn't even a year old when this became her home. We're going to ask her to come forward, Reverend Rita Michu Page, to give us the prayer for the future of the university. And while she's coming, let me just say, we ask you to take just a few minute break, go back and enjoy some of the items in the back, but we want you to stay and we want you to come back. We have lots of other activities planned throughout the day. Reverend Page, would you please give us the prayer for the future?
Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that he's done. For he has done great things, and we will continue to bless his holy name and give him praise. Lord, we thank you for the 130 years of this great institution. We thank you for those who planted and those who watered. And we thank you for the increase. And we know that there's nothing new under the sun. And so that we know that you are going to continue to send those who will continue to water and that you will continue to grant increase. And Heavenly Father, your word has told us not to grow weary in well-doing, not to get tired when trouble comes, when obstacles face us, not to give up, not to grow weary in well-doing, because you said that in due time, if we hold on, in due time, in your time, in due season, that Delaware State University will reap a harvest. And so we're thanking you right now for that school of medicine that's going to come to pass. We're thanking you right now for the school of architecture that's gonna come into existence. We're thanking you right now for the airport that's going to be the major airport in Delaware, the commercial airport. We're thanking you right now for all of the other departments that are going to come into existence that you are going to, going to plant and that those will, others will water. You will send those to water and then you will grant the increase. We thank you, God for those who have come before us, those who are here now, and those who are yet to come. We thank you for finding favor on this institution. And because you have found favor that you are going to send the very best. We are believing that. And you've told us that if we believe, we shall receive whatever, whatever we ask for in prayer. And so we're believing God that it's all, every, everything that, that I've prayed for, have asked for in this prayer, that it's all going to come to pass. And we just thank you, God, for the growth of this institution because we're not going to give up. We're not going to faint. Heavenly Father, that you're going, we pray you're going to continue to energize the president, the faculty, the trustees, the staff, the students, to keep this institution alive. And that there's nothing but your favor to fall down. Blessings, you're gonna grant nothing but blessings, even though they may have some mountains. We're thanking you now for the mountains that, that you're gonna bring them through. We thank your Heavenly Father for hearing and answering our prayer. We thank you for this day, for allowing us to be here to celebrate 130 years. And God, we give you all the praise and the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I'm going to bring up... Uh, John Ridgway in one second. I got two announcements, though, that I know are important for everybody. How many people want to know when the homecoming date is? 
October 23rd, the weekend of October 23rd. Mark your calendars. Mark your calendars. And second, on homecoming, we are going to dedicate the new alumni house. You will have an alumni house that we will dedicate on the weekend of October 23rd. So look forward to that. Alumni, you all deserve it. We know we've been waiting patiently for it, and we're going to make it come to fruition homecoming weekend. With that, I'll turn it over to John Ridgway. Trustee Ridgway. I was always told, never stand before a crowd before we go to lunch. I just need you to bear with me for like two minutes. Just two minutes. If you just hang in there with me, we got one more piece of recognition we want to do. Then we're going to go to lunch. But I, and just an announcement, when we, when we adjourn for lunch, if all the trustees and elected officials can meet me right over there, we want to take a quick picture. So we made a little course correction here due to time. So while we're going to lunch, we're going to be entertained by Urban Gorilla. How many of you have heard of Urban Gorilla? How many of you like Earth, Wind, and Fire? They will play something to touch your soul. It's something that's going to take you back to a magic moment when you was here at DSU. So, as we move into the Urban Gorilla Band, I do want to do something special for me. So, is my man up there? All right, so, if Dr. Devonna Williams, you can sit there. Dr. Tony Allen, if you can sit there. And if Tara, Tara, if you can just move over there a little bit. All of us had this magic moment. So we got two songs. Now, now, they get up and dance. I can't stop them. All right, let's go. It's my girl, my girl, my girl. 
guys look great out there. Got one more. Happy birthday, Stel! Hey, one last thing. Again, can all the trustees, elected officials, meet right over here for a picture? And like, yeah. the, the, the Dr. Michelle do a great job. Uh, come on, it's just like my girl. I ain't too proud to beg. Did she get a great job? So that's okay. So Dr. Michelle, we just want to show our appreciation. We want to give you this plant. Thank you. Great job. I just want to tell you, they took the mic away from me, so I but I have to give it back. <laughs>
just realize without you I can't go on. Cause you're the only half. You make my life complete. If I had a love like yours, we'd have a love so sweet. And leave it be the last thing on my mind. If I could turn back the hand of time. If I could turn back the hand of time. Mm -hmm. If I could turn back the hand of time. Oh, baby, if baby. I could turn back the hand of time. You know that I love if you. I could turn back the I hand can't do nothing time. without you, no.
And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's like their chairs there. Yeah. <laughs> thousands and yeah. thousands yeah. of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We do feel the love, though, for real. We feel it. Thank you. Oh. That's anyway. right. That's, That's where the party starts. It starts here. Are we going, it's going to happen. It's coming. <laughs> Turns me on with special concern. Now, I'm a different guy and I don't compare to many. But next to her, I'm plain ordinary. Everyone can see the light through all the essence women and walk all around the world. She's a 9, a 10, a 25th. She's bittersweet and the taco street. She's strange. And I like it. Strange. Just the way she is. She's the kind of person and everybody knows. She reeks with distinction from head to her toe. She's my twilight zone, my Al Capone. She's my Rolling Stone and my Eva Perot. And I like yeah. it. Yes, I like it. I like, I like it. it. The way she, she wears her hair. You come to greet her, she shall leave me. So she'll be wearing a skirt as a flag. I like the cold in October, she'll take you right over. I don't mean to be facetious. And the look in her eyes says you're the guy she plans to spend this evening with. She's strange. And I like it. She's strange. Just the way she is. She's strange. Walking down the avenue. She's strange. Always doing something.
This stuff is starting now. This stuff is starting now. This stuff is starting now. Woo! My eyes roll in my head. I toss and turn in my bed. The morning when I think about you. Yes, I do. Simply put, you're the reason why. Even though I'm real shy.
just want to thank you for bringing us here to be a part of this great celebration. So please know that from all of us to all of you, if only you knew how much we love you. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your paycheck's coming. Your paycheck's in the mail. <laughs> That was Miss Paula Holloway, y'all.
Lawrence Newton. <laughs> yes, Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> All 3,000 of you, yay! The big and the crowd goes I feel wild. It. it feels like it's 3 million of them out there. That love is so strong. Oh, man. Well, I hope y'all having as good a time as we are. Freedom!
Thank you. As you can see, we're going to have a party up here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All the way. We hope you're enjoying what you're hearing so far. And we're going to keep it coming. Don't be shy if you want to dance. Little Mary Jane. Featuring the beautiful Naima Hart.
y'all feel it. I see y'all dancing in your chair over there.
all 3,000 of y'all sound real good. We doing all right so far? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, yeah. Another little blast from somewhere. <laughs> Let's see if you remember where you were the first time you heard this song.
Thank yes. you. Mr. Kenny Jackson, yes, yes. No, no. Other than the band, who's having a good time? Paula Khan. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said I changed my name to Paula Khan. Paula yeah. Khan, Paula Khan. What you rock with Paula, Paula Khan? Paula Khan. <laughs> I'm going to say that next time. <laughs> for the ladies. I need to introduce this young man. Now I just want y'all to be prepared. See all that chocolateness. He's getting ready to give it to you, so you might want to have a chair close by. Featuring Lawrence Weez Newton. Show your love for Lawrence. I've been so many places, I've seen so many things, but none quite as lovely as you. You're more beautiful than Mona Lisa, worth more than gold, than my eyes and the pleasure to behold. You're latest and my greatest things never look clear peace within never felt near see my burdens gone and turn into a song
ever since you went away, I ain't been doing nothing but sitting at home all alone with my head in my hand. I wonder, you know what you do, you know what you do. Ain't this an HBCU? Yes, it is. Come on, y'all. Take me home. Come on. Come on. You keep on lifting me up. Higher. 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 Oh, Lord. You keep on lifting me up. service announcement. If you see a little chocolate booty running around here, he just sang his little chocolate booty off. Show your love to Lawrence again, please. <laughs> Paulie, you forgot to say, return it to send me, return it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I know y'all came to party because you stayed. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. Do this. Do this. Do this. Dance. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. so much fun for us, really. We're not going to let COVID get us, right? That's right. We're not going to let it stop us from celebrating such a, a great, great achievement. 
Now y'all know that I love music, right? We know you love this song. And it's something about music that just makes you wanna dance. Yes, it does. But it's something y'all about this joint right here. It makes you wanna. It makes you wanna. It makes you wanna. Individuals in the tents. We got individuals in the student center. Let's give it up for Urban Gorilla. Huh? If you're over in the tent, let them hear you over there. Let's show them some love. All right. We have two more gifts that we want to give out as we wound down this extraordinary event today. And um, I'm going to ask Vita, if you'll pull it, what's the first number? Five, two, one, four, six, one, five. I'm gonna keep pulling to somebody wins something. Keep it going. 
Does anyone have it? All right. We're in a rapid countdown here. Five two one four six zero zero. That's five two one four six zero zero. Go on once. Go on twice. You're gonna miss it. Keep moving. I would sing time is on my side. Okay, sorry, sorry. I just got carried away ahead of Mike. Five two one four six two zero. Okay. No. Okay. Five two one four six zero two. Five two one four six zero two. Five two one four five nine four. Hey, we got a winner. We got a winner. Huh? We got a gift of unspeakable value. Yeah. All right. Been waiting all the day. Wasn't gonna leave until I got something. Five two one four six one four. They gone. All right. I am going deep. Let's see. Five two one four six zero one. Five two one four six zero one. Gone. I'm going deep. <laughs> okay. Five two one four five nine three. Five two one four nine five three. So we got to go down deep, deep down, down deep down in our hearts. We love, we love ODSU deep down in our hearts. Sherry's looking at you like, would you stop? Okay, five two one four six three zero. All right. Five two one three. Here it is. Uh oh, we had a double hitter. Now before you, we got to give you something. That's it. All right, then she give to, we give her a gift anyway, right? All right. Because we are a customer-centric, alumni-centric focus, we're going to give out two gifts. So before I give the uh, mic back over to Urban Gorilla, I want to thank each and every one of you for spending today with us. And um, if I don't get a chance to see you or talk to you again, be careful, drive safe. We look to you in the fall. We're going to do more of these things. You're going to get the full experience of DSU. Vita, you want to have Yeah. What do you all think about homecoming having a day party like this? Yeah? yeah? All right. All right. Hey, I wonder what they come back and do it for us. Yes, we will. <laughs> yes, we will. All right. Okay. 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 It's October 23rd. We'll be back. Done. Done deal. All right. Back to you. We'll take the mic. Yes. Henry, October 23rd. Yes. October 23rd. It's already done. <laughs>
you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's hear it again for Urban Gorilla. Orchestra. Uh, look, orchestra. Thank you, Urban Gorilla Orchestra. <laughs> Did they make it hot today? I, I got so caught up in it, I took my tie off. That's good. I want to thank each and every one of you again for supporting DSU and being a part of this exciting journey as we celebrate 130 years of educating, graduating students. You heard a lot of different things today. The excitement and the future of Delaware State University is bright. I welcome you to continue to support us with your time, talent, and treasures. We look forward to you coming back. And you heard, the word is out there. Share the news which you heard from Urban Guerrilla Orchestra today. We look forward to seeing them back in October. Hey, let's give Vita a round of applause. Did she not make it happen? Huh? Did she make the hornets fly today? Okay. I'll turn it over to Vita. Hi, I know. You know, y'all the true the true hornets stand to the end. That's what I'm saying. Turn the lights out, right? Turn the lights out. Oh. Turn the don't okay, turn the mic out. I can't drop the mic. Can't drop it. But John, John has done a fabulous job as the chair of the 130th anniversary. Let's give him a round of applause. And John, this is a token from your Hornet family for you, okay? All right, y'all, good night. Good night. <laughs> 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 I said so she <laughs>